Welcome to Critter Cove. Uh, this is the new game that's been out. Everybody's been playing it. It is a post-apocalyptic game and it is kind of like Animal Crossing. Uh, as somebody said, if Animal, if Nintendo had actually cared. Um, now, I am not starting from scratch. You can see I have the continue button up here. I have played for six in-game days because I wasn't sure that I was actually going to want to play this game. I played the demo last year and there was a lot of things that I didn't find interesting. The swimming for one was incredibly hard. Um, it has gotten a lot better um, and uh, it has changed quite a lot. So I have done the first six in-game in days. I've gotten some of the town set up. Um, I'm not going to take you through the character creation. It is intense not intense it is um in depth that's the word in depth um but uh i've gotten a few villagers but i wanted to play a little further down uh, a little further past what everybody else has seen and just get into it so i've already got my little bathtub boat um my house is set up kind of i've gotten a lot of my uh, shop machines built but that's not where it ends. It, it just goes on and on and on from there. There are uh, way more things to do. Uh, I haven't even started on farming yet. Uh, but join me as uh, we take a little further look into this um, cute game. And uh, let me know what you think. So let's go. does take it a bit to load in. Now I've already gotten my scuba mask. Oops. This is my crazy character. I just went random and just went crazy with the colors, but I've already got my pirate hat. And one thing that I do like is all the chests connect. So if I open this chest, you can see I've got the basic trunk, then I've got my other trunk, and then I've got a third trunk. So you can access, wherever your trunks are, you can place them all around the island. So if you get your farm and you put it somewhere off to the side on another part of the island, your trunk, you, you can put a trunk there, I believe, and they will all connect. Um, so you can see I've filled up quite a lot of trunks. I am currently working on setting up the, the cafe, if I can remember where the cafe is. So I've gotten a lot of the junk cleared out, not all of it. I'm still doing those quests. I haven't set up any lights. Um, this is going to be the cafe. So you can see that I still need to donate 10 bricks and five metal plates. And I only have 40 gold. <laughs> I am poor. So let's see here. And I still haven't really learned how to cook. So everybody's still asleep except for this guy. This is, um, Check mark. Uh, bonus to thousand dollars increases the number of tourists that will arrive in Critter Bay by five. So this is the shops that he sells. Um, he sells. It looks like that is the furniture store, the bait shop, tavern, clothing, and the cafe. He also sells an easel, a standing parasol. These are recipes. A hammock, that would be cool. Snack shock, snack shack. A bikini cutout, oh, that's so cute. Place it in your house or in the town. So it looks like a, a cute little pretty girl with a bikini and you stick your head in the, the picture. You know, just like they do at resorts here or the strongman cutout. And then we have the lifeguard chair. All of these are more money than I have. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is... Uh-oh. Oh, I guess we have our first set of tourists and I didn't even know it. <clears throat> There's nothing to do in town, guys. I don't know why you're here. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> They're just wandering around. I have nothing to eat for them. I have no place for them to stay. Well, that's interesting. And we're supposed to get money for them. Um, do you have anything for me? 
One of the anchors harrowing tales of the sea. Let's talk. The bulletin board. Every now and then you can often find jobs. Oh, the bulletin board's working. I know where the board is. All right, anchor. And you can also check your mail like right here. Oh, we have a bowling cabana. What's the shirt? You don't, you don't accept the items. It just goes into your, um, inventory or your so you can drag and drop okay and now I'm not wearing pants <laughs> okay sorry about that so I don't know what our tourists are going to be doing they're all just kind of looking around but there's no there's not enough um my vacation is ruined. I'm so sorry. You guys came. I'm so bored. It's even funny. It's like the worst vacation ever. Yeah, I know. Sorry, guys. Let me just talk to everybody else because I know everybody's ticked off. Where are all the shops? Hey, I never promised you shops. Enough money to burn, but nothing to spend it on. Yeah, I know. I don't know why y'all came. <laughs> I'm not even done with my quests. I need to talk to Reynard. I don't even know where Reynard lives. Reynard is our boss. Oh, there he is. He's kind of like, oh, hey, cozy little sea dragon. Yes, yes, I know. I honestly expected to take that to take you a little bit longer. Did you manage to bring a new person to our town? Yeah, like three of them. I did. Well done. Okay, I think you've earned this for doing such a good job. Oh, I get money? Please tell me it's money. Green tea. A green t-shirt. New arrivals. There's opportunity for sales. Okay. Well, I've already got like three people. <laughs> but I'm not getting any money. You can sell to Reynard. This is one of our... This is one of our new villagers, Tammy. Uh, what can I do for you, Fierce. <laughs> Do you have the problem where you get so ripped? Do you need to buy new clothes? Yeah, what am I thinking? Of course you don't. No, you're lucky to have such weak muscles. She calls me fierce for some reason. You probably save a fortune not having to constantly buy new clothes. Okay. I don't even know what our... Okay, so we still have to do this. We still have to get lights. Oh, the tourism board. Um, I have to learn how to farm. I have to craft a watering can. And then I have to find this. Um, I need to find the underwater garage area for a power box. I have not been successful in that. So... Let's go see. So this is the scuba station. I've already fixed part of it up. And you can look on the map. So this tells you that you're diving for power. And then it should say repair is the cafe. It's one of these things over here. Oh, these are diving spots. There's my boat. There's a sunken wreck. There's a sunken wreck. So the this is the map. And there are, it is quite large. There are plans to, um, points of interest, shipwreck, dive. Oh, this is, so these are dive sites. Okay. Oh, we're going to have a bakery and a theater and a salon. Ooh, temporary housing. We have, do you have a couple of people on the beach? There's the cafe. There's a lighthouse. Okay. Anyway, that's where I have to go and try and find that power box in my makeshift boat now, I do not play on controller I play on PC you can run into things on your boat <laughs> the physics are fun okay so we're in the area so I can get off 
I need to put my diving mask on. Uh, so I only have half of my tank left. So I have to find this power thing. I have not been successful at finding it. Oh, well that was stupidly easy. I spent 20 minutes searching this area <laughs> yesterday for that. And do you think I could find it? No. Well, that was the fastest I've ever completed a quest. My goodness. So you can see that the world is quite pretty. There are, whoops, there are uh, lightning, there are weather. You have lightning storms. They're horrifically scary. Okay. Uh, install the tire pipe and then ref return to Anchor. Anchor is our, the guy who brought us here. He's basically a shark. Okay, so this isn't letting me inspect this. Ah, there we go. Ta-da! Oh, craft. Oh, it's not ready yet. You can jump. And you can cook. And you can craft a lot of different things. Blow me sails down. You got it working. I knew you'd be able to figure it out. Now I'd like you to make particular use of it if you've got time for the old shark's errands. Of course. I knew you were the one to be counted on. I'll be needing you to recover a bit of cargo that I lost a while. I'll mark the location on your map so you don't have any trouble finding it. You're looking for cargo wrapped in blue paper located inside of a blue cargo container. I'm guessing it's going to be down deep so you might need a refill on your tanks. Uh, here's an old empty tank that I had laying around. Use this station to fill it back up before you go. Cool. It's rather important that it gets here safe and sealed. No peeking, you hear? Good. Fair travels, me hearty. Okay, so we need to go back and pick up our tank. And go back swimming. It's kind of odd that that <laughs> makes an absolute right-hand turn. Okay. Pick up here a small... Find the marked cargoes. Okay. Now, I was on my back already. Oh, interesting. Okay. But do I need to switch it out? Um, so if I take this off. Can't do that. So how do you refill your air tank? I'm kind of confused. Oops. All right, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that small air tank means it'll refill. Okay, let's look on the map. Oh, good lord, he's way out here. So he wants us to go all the way over here. Find the wrecked cargo. And you do have, up in the upper upper right-hand corner, you do have a compass with a red arrow that kind of tells you where you're supposed to go. Nope. Oh. Watch out for those underwater objects that you can bump into. You can say, well, you can't see the speedometer. We have a speedometer for our boat. It goes 20 miles an hour. It's behind my portrait. We have crazy fish and uh, crazy birds flying around. Because remember, this is post-apocalyptic. And we have weird fish also down there. They're quite pretty. Let's check where we are. Ah, we're in the area, right over the top. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, 
Oh wow, look at this. Tangled container. So we need a blue container. He said a blue container. These are green, unless that's blue. Look at all these walkways. What is going on? Oh, there's all sorts of containers around here. The water looks really great. That's still green. Not seeing blue. There are some barbells. <laughs> okay. So we got a little bit of stuff for that. That's a yellow container. Oh, you can take these food. Okay, apparently that's all I can do for that. So I'm wondering if this is the blue one. Oh, wow. Oh, it is. This is the blue one. Okay then, that was pretty easy, marked cargo. Oh, here's some fish. Look at these guys. We got this big one here. Like an eel kind of, and you've got these little spiral guys. Let's get up before our air runs out. I haven't found anything to fight in this game so that's a good thing no combat from what I can tell wait why is that arrow going did I not find the cargo oh no it's gone okay but it does show a dive wreck okay <laughs> so now we're going back there's Critter Cove. And so far I haven't seen any fall damage when jumping from great heights. So that's a plus. Oh, this must be another dive site. Broken ship. Oh. Or can I... Nope. No, I don't want to drive. I want to collect. So sometimes it wrecks. I'm guessing you'll find stuff that's floating that you can collect. See, we've got a lot of barrels and stuff down here. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, let's get back in here and drive. There's another pile right out here. <clears throat> Whoa. So you can see what it's getting when you've got flour, salt, all sorts of timber and wood. Let's see what's over on this island. 
Oh, and more cargo. Nice. And apparently a person. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to drive. <laughs> There's the fishies. Look at those guys. Oh, wow. Barnacle. Well, look what the tide done. Tide drug in. Another intrepid lover of fishing, perhaps. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Barnacle. So, are you out here trying to catch some fish? Uh, no. I don't know how to fish. Well, I'll be inked. How is it even possible? Got yourself a case of sea madness or something? Never mind. Barnacle will set you straight so that you can partake in the epic battle between octopus and fish. Nothing else in all the islands is like it, I always say. First thing you're going to need is a stout pole. This here is Polina. She's the luckiest pole in the entire world. No, you can't have her. But I can give you instructions on how to make your own Polina. Ah, here we are. These will do nicely. Just follow these instructions. You'll make a fine pole and be catching fish in no time. When you've got your pole made, come on back and I'll take a look at it for you. Okay, fishing is okay. Alrighty then. Oh. Now, the fishing in here is kind of like Stardew Valley, which I suck at and don't like. So I don't know how well we're going to be able to fish. Uh, this is your, so if you hit J, it comes up with these are your quests for your journal. Um, you can show your relationship with everybody. There is a heart system. Uh, oh wow, I've already got four hearts for Sammy and Reynard. Interesting. Oh wow, favorite colors. Okay. Then this is your tourism. Oh, there's a radio forecast that'll be coming up. Interesting. Um, this is your crafting. And you can craft from your in, your whatever is in your inventory. So here's a basic fishing pole, but I need thread and a metal pipe, which and also gear, which is back at the shop. Okay, so we're gonna have to leave. Fair winds to you. Goodbye. Sorry, I was trying to get into his boat. <laughs> so we just leave Barnacle, old Barnacle there. It's like there's another island. Ooh, right off there. But we're going to go back and complete our quest. <laughs> no. <laughs> we still have visitors. Poor things. There's nothing for them to do on our, on our island except cry. There's not even any, any place to eat. If they're lucky, they can pick the Pick some food from the vegetable, from the, uh, around the island. Whoa! I'm not quite sure why there is a fade out scene when you have to get off your boat. There are some of the birds over there. They kind of look like flying dragons. Tiny flying dragons. Oh, we need to go talk to... And this is not, oh wow. So this is not like Animal Crossing where it's like an actual live day. Have you retrieved the chest I asked for? I have something for you, yes. Here you go. That's just the cargo I asked for. You've got me gratitude, Captain, and heartily at that. What's in it? Uh, it's not, but um, saltwater taffy, my favorite kind, and hard to come by these days. But you needn't concern yourself with the snacking habits of Anchor. Here, you're well dressed booty for a job. Here, you're well dressed. You're well deserved booty. Oh my gosh. For a job well done. <laughs> Please tell me it's money. Oh no. Under the sea complete. I, oh, I did get money. Yay. Yeah, I wish I could pick up this. We've still got these poor tourists running around. There's Tammy. Oh, look at the bird lady. Where are all the beach chairs? The rides? The picture opportunities? This is literally the most boring vacation I've ever been on. We, I'm sorry. 
I am terribly sorry we weren't expecting you quite this soon. Oh well, contract for salvage. Oh, so this is where you get paid. Oh, Mega Meat Jumble. I have two days to complete it and I'll get 17 coins. Um, sure. Just checking to see if you were paying attention when I told you to check the bolts and board well time. <laughs> Thanks, Anchor. Critter Cove is now almost rat free, says local harbor master. Rats were a serious problem, but thanks to a passing cheese barge, they have almost entirely left the area. Reynard was unavailable because Reynard is a rat. He's right over here. Uh, Reynard's is the perfect one stop shop for your opal, all your shopping needs. Need important salvage? Looking to lighten your packs? Reynard's has you covered. Stop by today and experience discount products at quality prices. And by all, it's implied that only some of your shopping will be covered. Green salad. Pokey will pay us eight coins. Okay, we can try a green salad. I'm not quite sure how to do that. So we've got a commission for Pokey and one for Sammy. So this is our shop area. We have a construction guy here who is Copper Pot. He is a machine. What do I need to craft on this? Okay, soft wood planks, wood planks. So I need a metal pipe. So I need two metal bars that I can get. Oh, I just made met nine, so if that works. So I need one pipe. Crafting is pretty simple. And that takes it about 42 seconds and it shows you up at the top how long it, it'll take. Um, what was I going to do? I need... Okay, so I need 10 bricks and 5 metal plates in order to open up the cafe. I think I have the 10 bricks, don't I? I have 13 bricks, okay. Um, I have six metal plates, so I should be able to, oops, excuse me, should be able to open up the cafe, maybe. Problem is, we're going to have to make somebody work at it. You do have a sprint bar. Oops, that's not the right place. And the metal plates. There we go. So then this thing happens. Construction goes really fast. But it might take a day. So those tourists might not be here. This is one of our new residents, Giselle. She's looking for a new place to live. She wants our opinion. It looks great. Oh, so we have to fund their... Uh, you can turn off the critter talk if you don't like it. It's it's a little. So we need five bricks, 15. Let's see, I can do that. I can do that. And then we need three metal. Got the metal covered. So I need two bricks and then some wood planks. Always something to do here. Oh, we have to wait for copper pot. That's what it is. So maybe he will get our, our uh, copper. Where are you going? Oh, okay. So we get the supplies and he fixes it. That works. It may take him a day. I keep wanting to fix this up, but it's just dead plants. We're working on some food for you guys, but I don't know if I have anybody to work there. So I have two days to complete those other quests. And you can see we do have a time gauge. It is 510 in game. Let me put some more bricks onto craft. Pick up the pipe. Um, wait. Metal plate. So I do like that this will tell you if you look in your journal. it 
the commissions, new home for Giselle. Okay, so I need three metals, which I've already got. So I need the bricks and the wood planks. I think I already have wood planks. Oh, I have. I also have a loom. I think I already have the wood planks. I thought I had the wood planks. Well, this is our furniture. Apparently, I don't have the wood planks. All right, wait a minute. Ah, wood planks. Okay. Forgot which tool it was. Now, as it's crafting, you can pick up stuff like I put in there for like 30 almost you can pick up whatever is there like it just gave me one two one and two and three and four um, so yeah you can make a bunch of furniture fan scene basic bed basic chair and you'll probably learn more as it goes on um, when it says large crate and small crate, that's not your crap. That's not your storage, basic trunk. That's your storage. And apparently there's no limit on that. Oh, we can do sandcastle too. Oh, I can make a sandcastle. Let's craft a sandcastle. So let me go down to the beach. Put down the sandcastle, maybe the tourists will find that interesting. So you just go into your inventory, click on this, you can click on decorate, and then the green shows you where you can put it, the red shows you where, uh, where you can't, and for mouse, uh, keyboard and mouse, you hit your shift and then your mouse wheel. And that'll turn it. So I can't put it up there. Ta-da! So the the and you can pick it up again. So the crafting is pretty simple. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna go look at it. <laughs> That's funny. Just gonna sit there and stare at it. All right, go for it. So you will have a fully fledged town at some point. It's just gonna take a fair bit to, oops, to get there. Okay, we just picked up eight wood, metal plates. Let's see if we can do get the cafe set up before eight o'clock, because I don't know if they're gonna leave or not. And I may have to assign somebody to work there. Probably Giselle, the little fox we talked to. Oh, it's still not quite ready. Planks and bricks. Oh, not enough planks. Halfway there, Giselle. Well, it looks like Copper Pot's still working on it, so tomorrow might be <laughs> tomorrow might be when that gets there. I hope the tourists don't be are not walking around town all night. They are a little grumpy. They should have given us a warning that they were coming. So that's four. I think that should be enough, I hope. Tammy the lion. Let's see. Yep, we got it. New home for Giselle. And then she's going to go work on it. <laughs> I love how they all turn into their own, um, <laughs> their own construction person. Oh, you got all the materials? Let me go ahead and do it. It's hilarious. Hello, anchor. We have a shark who has a peg leg. Okay. So don't let it frustrate you. And there is one really good thing. 
There is no knockout time. So as long as you have the energy or at least food to increase your energy, you can, you can stay up all night or you can take naps in your, in your house. So you don't have to like go to bed. Um, let me see here. I needed to wait, hang on. We're working on that, uh, the lights, that's what I was working on. So what do I need for, that's the wrong thing. No, basic lamp. So I need salvaged lamp using crafting. I thought I had a bunch of those. Let me go find another one. So there are all these broken down lamps that you've already taken down, but apparently you need more. And when the characters want your attention, they'll run up to you and start waving. Oh, okay, like that. The unit has completed repairs on the Biomatter Distribution Center. It lacks automated service functions. This unit recommends finds a meat person to proficient in the creation and serving of edible biomatter to operate the facility. And we're gonna there he's gonna give us a reward for assistance in the completion of the ingestion biomatter ingestion facility. Okay, we have a sea dog's lamp. We are now removing the scaffolding and completing the final constructions. Thank you and have a nice day. He calls us a meat person. Oh my. So I guess I can have either Sammy closed. No one is assigned to work there. So how do you assign someone to work there? That's a good question. Well, Pokey's a farmer. I wonder if Pokey would be a gardener. Um, worker accidents. <gasps> Wait, what? Cafe, none. Likes job. <laughs> How do you get... Oops. Okay, so you have like a... These are all the things you found. Worker accidents. Oh, you get total profit. Okay, that's interesting. So it'll tell you how much you've made from each facility. Food, shopping, fun cart, shopping cart. Fun, I've made $5 from fun. Miscellaneous, total profit is $5. Okay. I still don't know how to... It's been like forever since I talked to you. Walking around really gives you just a chance to think. Life can be pretty stressful sometimes, and walking is a good way to clear your mind. I was going to say something else, but I totally forgot what. I guess my mind is pretty clear at this point, huh? Okay, Sammy. So, okay, I don't know how to assign a worker. Oh, look, you've got... Oh, that's cute. You've got outdoor seating. Okay. So she's busy fixing her place. Oh, Reynard. Would you look at that? Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Now it just needs someone to run it. A business is only good as good as its workers, after all, and no one wants to eat at a cafe where they might have to make their own food. How about you ask around town and see if you can put one of these lazybouts to work? I'm sure one of them must know how to cook, right? And don't worry, if they do a bad job, you can always remove them later and put someone more suited for that work in their place. Um, okay, Sammy. You must be busy. Any way I can help? I have a job for you. You want me to work in the cafe? This is a dream come true. I've always loved those little shops with the tasty little snacks, delicious little drinks. I'm going to get started right away. This will be the best cafe in the whole seven seas. Sammy, I sure hope you can cook, honey. Um, aren't you supposed to go, go work? Okay. Renard's over here just talking to himself. Maybe he has a cell phone. And it's really pretty at night. Look at all the stars. Look at all the stars. Oh, okay. Yes, Tammy. I think I went too long without a protein shake. I can usually truck through anything, but I might actually pass out if I don't get a high, ver high fiber boost pronto. I need you for this one. Just think, where would you be without me to keep you sharp? Nowhere. Help me find food. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to give you. Um, sure. Now that's an all-star player. I'll hunker down here until you get the stuff. Just remember my diet. Um, it looks like she just ran off. 
Okay, so the sky is incredibly gorgeous because you're out in the middle of nowhere. Not many lights. These poor people are still running around. Wait, who are you? Ah, Tulia. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, I need to find that salvage lamp. <laughs> That's what I was looking for originally. It does get kind of dark, so you are going to want to put your lamps in as soon as you can. Because then you have to do what I do, what I'm doing now, which is running around trying to remember where I didn't take a lamp from. Ah, here's one. So that's, that's my house. I love this little place. The little umbrellas and the little lights are so cute. Okay, so I have a salvage. Oh, wait. I think I might need something different. Oh, that's not going to go good. Yeah, it does get kind of dark in here. Whoops. Sorry about that, guy. We don't, guys, we don't have any lights. <laughs> Oops. Except for there. We actually have, oh, and we have, so we have lights here. And you are pokey. Oh, I guess I completely forgot you were on the island. What do you want? I ever heard some people think I'm a grump, which I'm not, like, whatever. I'm not a grump. I just don't like half the people I meet, and I only... Like the other half, half as much as they seem to think. That is a Lord of the Rings reference. Now, is it my fault that everyone else is terrible at everything? Yes, Pokey, it is. Oh, we earned it 10. How did we earn 10 bucks from the tourists? They're leaving now, apparently. I have no idea how we earned. Look at them all run. <laughs> like, we're getting the heck out of here, man. Get us the flock out. Bye, tourists. See y'all later. That's a nice boat. Um, are you guys going with or are you staying? You can stay if you want. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's really a dark picture. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to go to sleep. I'll show you what that's like. Oh, are you still looking for a house? This is one of our villagers. Yes, she's looking for cute and bold. Something that really says a peppy girl lives here. Yes, this place is totally right for you, Mary. Literally the best news I've heard all day. Can you get me the supplies? Sure. I think I have some bricks and planks left over. But you're still going to have to go back and sleep in your tent. Because I'm going back to bed. This is our little cot. <laughs> sleep until morning. Okay. So what I need to do is... I don't, I'm going to need to make a cooking workstation, I think. Really, Tammy? Uh, I have something for her? Oh. I will give her a drum stock. A drumstick. Can't be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's missing oomph. You still cleared the playoffs, even if you missed the goal. Thanks. <laughs> oh, a spring fish ride? Really? Well, we can put that down in the middle of the town so somebody can ride it. Let's see. Oops, shift. Now, if we get another load of tourists, they'll at least have <laughs> they'll at least have this to ride on. <laughs> so we need lights and cooking. Um, not even sure if Sammy's doing his job, man. 
Uh, let me see if I can find that cook table, cooking station. Ah, I need to make the campfire. So I need to make basic campfire. So every day you'll have on the beach respawning twigs and stones and you they replenish pretty much every day or every other day and the same with the uh, gatherable food there's meat on a uh, meat on a vine that you can collect and there's some berries and stuff so you can always do that so I want to craft that cooking station because hopefully that will give us something else there is our cooking station and you can put it I think anywhere you want So I'm going to put it right here because I'm here most of the time. Um, because this is where my storage boxes are. Alright, so I'm going to put cloth in there, fiber, flour. Let's do that. I have some oil. Oh dear. Okay, there's some sugar. I have way too many things and I am not organized. I still don't know what to use with that. Um... Do I not have glass? Apparently not. Oh, apparently I did. Um, some mechanical parts. There's also a dragon fruit. And you do get seeds when you harvest. Um, so I'm going to take the dragon fruit. I am going to... Take that and that and these are the strange yellow berries and they will give you basically they'll get you stoned so I guess we can't work on that we have to go to our own eh. okay so apparently cooking that is not what we can cook on we only have to be able to use our own <laughs> Look at that's the happiest I've seen Pokey ever. <sighs> she actually is smiling. That's hilarious. Oops. So apparently we can only use our campfire. We can't use the cooking station. Now I don't know how to... Oh, E-add fuel. I don't have any fuel. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Maybe that was the problem too. With the other one. Is I didn't have fuel. So fibers are used in cooking. I want to say that fibers are what's fibers are probably what starts it. Uh, e add fuel. Oh no. So it's not. Okay. Never mind. We aren't going to cook at all. We're just going to lose out to Sammy and uh, Pokey. She's still on that thing. What do you have to sell, Reynard? Probably nothing that I need. And the only way to tell what it is is just click on it. So that's a splody, gla splody gas tank. Mechanical parts, broken motor, treadmill. What's in now? Oh, somehow we got $100. So I guess I need wood. Oh, no, I, I need twigs. That's the fuel. So this is going to probably be a bar area, I am guessing.
I'm just looking for sticks, but apparently there are no sticks. Apparently I harvested all the sticks. You can chop the logs. You don't need, one other good thing is that you don't need to constantly shift uh, to get your tools. And things wash up all the time. And you can dig these strange rocks. You cannot, however, capture any bugs. And look at all these bugs. Look at all these cute little bugs. So these are the stones and sticks I was talking about. They just haven't migrated down to the beach yet. <laughs> So this is another light, but apparently that's not what they wanted us to do. So I'm a little confused on how to re how to redo the light system. Let me jump. I can jump, but not over that. Oh, look at the radioactive mushroom taking over the planet, huh? Is that what happened? Oh, he's got the vines as fencing. That's interesting. Oh, Pokey finally gave up on that. Uh, are you looking to live here? Yep, she's looking to live here. It looks great. <laughs> looks like there are a few holes to patch up. Nothing major, I just need a few simple supplies and I'll get this sweet pad set up in no time. Sure, because I'll help you. And I don't have anything, so <laughs> I'm going to go see if I can cook again. <clears throat> Maybe I can use this cooking thing now. Okay. All right, start cooking. So we need the mega meat jumble. I just need one. Oh, well, that was easy. Okay, so Sammy's not going to go hungry. Now, I don't know. So that's just grilled meat, and that's the mega meat. And then jam. Jam is made by cooking like the berries. We're going to experiment. Don't use the hypnotic berries. Well, I guess you could if you really want. <gasps> Fruit salad. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. I don't think that's what Sam Sammy wanted. Sammy just wanted a salad. So if we do two of them, what does that give us? Just a salad? Oh, I should have used the pink things. Pick up slop. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. And let's do that. And let's do that. What are we coming up with? Slop. <laughs> All right. Let's just try all dragon fruit and see what comes up. Maybe it's going to be another fruit salad. Slop. Okay. We got lots of slop. Grilled meat. Mega. So that's a fruit salad. I'm wondering, so Sammy wanted... Oh, wow. We have commissions for everybody. Um, so he wanted that. And then Pokey just wanted a green salad. How do I do a green salad? <gasps> oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, that's a wind chime. I had this, sponge leaf lettuce. Let's do the lettuce. I bet you that's what it is. Maybe this will give us a uh, salad. Green salad. Okay, let's go find Pokey and Sammy. Which is going to be hard. Uh, let me see if I can find them. 
Okay, there's Copper Pot. There's Anchor. <gasps> Sammy's over here. Where the heck is Pokey? I don't know where Pokey is. Um, oh, there's Sammy moving. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, I don't know where... Maybe I haven't got that far in friendship with her. She's just going to sit there and stare at her house until it's ready. So we have to find Pokey and we have to find Sammy. I think this is Pokey's house. She is not at home right now. Okay, well that's good to know. Sammy, come back. I see you. Nope. Oh, that's... Oh god, that's somebody else. Hey, Bestie, are you hungry? Maybe like totally famished? Because I know I am. She's going bonkers. Directions to a bite to eat or 20? Um, I think I have something right here. I have a fruit salad. She's probably not going to like it. Fruit salad? Well, that's okay. Thanks. I'm sure it'll be fine. After all, it's super important to keep an open mind. You know, yeah. Even if, you know, you hate something, go ahead and try it. Wish me luck. Oh, that is not good. I don't think I like fruit. Oh, wow. In fact, I'm positive I don't. Okay, need a sec here. That was honestly almost traumatic. <laughs> well, I am sorry there, girlfriend. I did not realize that that was... Uh... Okay. So we're there and Sammy is all the way back over this way. Sorry about that, girlfriend. I'll try to remember that you like... Really? What are you doing? She's just staring at the wall. Um, there's Giselle. Oh wow, this is open. Oh my god. Why, hello there. Hello there, Sammy. Um, Black Whiskers Cafe. Furl your sails and prepare to be boarded by flavor. I have something for you. Oh yes, I have something for you. Would you look at that? Exactly what I asked for with time to spare. And you gave me doubloons. 51? Oh my god, I, I thought it was like 8. Okay, I'll take it. You heard about the delivery job. What? Wait, what? I was really hoping somebody would swing by. I've got a special order that I need to take out to Riggs Outpost somewhere south of here. Riggs, um, wait, we're taking delivery orders? Special order some to the southwest of here. Riggs O'Malley put in the order a while ago. You're the only person I know who can get to him. Here's the order. Just get it to the outpost as soon as you can. He's probably starving at this point. So we're doing DoorDash now. Oh, okay. And you can play apparently in first person. Um, Pokey, where are you? Because now I, it's, it's 1140 and I need to know where you are so I can give you your food. Okay, you're just sitting here staring at that. Oh, what, Reynard? I wonder if you could run another potentially lucrative errand for me. But what am I saying? Of course you can. I'm always on the lookout for the news culinary delights to bring to our faithful customer. This new one calls for a rather specific ingredient. I need a green egg. Don't make that face. It's not gross. At least I hope it's not gross. Sounds terrible, but go on. You can find them in a number of places, but I'll mark it on the map where you can find one for sure. I've heard you can eat them with a rat. That's me. You can eat them with a bat. You can eat them at the bar. You can eat them in your car. You get the idea. Um, okay. Uh, sure. That does not sound appetizing. I still don't know where the hell Pokey is. Pokey, I need to give you your stuff. Oh, here comes the rain. This is going to be spectacularly terrifying. Um, so where are we going? Oh, we're going here and here. So this is lunch. And then this is the green egg, okay? Yes, we have lightning and we're going on the water in a bathtub. Let's hope we don't get struck. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Um, this is probably not the safest thing I've been doing. Oh my god. Am I even going in the right direction? I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Oh, am I right over the spot? No, I'm all the way over here. 
I need to go this way. Jeez, I'm gonna get killed. I don't know if there's a death or knockout in this. Like if you get struck by lightning, does that like take your stamina down or something? Jeez Louise. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Biscuit and risk. Oh my god. Okay, now I have to go to the left. Oh, this island. Okay. Wow. Good lord. Am I taking this guy his lunch? Or this is where I'm finding the green egg. I think this is where I'm finding the green egg. Oh, this is... There's the egg. But it doesn't say green. And no, I haven't made... This is the guy that we're trying to make the fishing pole for. But I don't have it yet. This is where you get sand with circles like this. So you can make a sand castle. This is absolutely horrifying and freakish. There's the green egg. Okay, so we got our green egg. And then we have to go this way. So we're going just beyond. Going this way. Oh, I really don't want to get struck by lightning, but I have a feeling that that's going to happen. I'm coming to bring you your lunch, but it might be a little soggy. Oh, I need to swing this way. <laughs> God, I don't know where I'm going. <gasps> oh my God. Holy cow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I've got my trusty shovel out looking like a lightning thingamajiggy. Oh, I can chop these things? Nice. Because I get struck by lightning. Fishing rods. Oh, okay. So I can clean this guy's area up from... Where is he, by the way? This is where we're supposed to be, right? Yes. It's... So you learn recipes by chopping things up. So I've got three out of 15. So I have to find so many others in order to dismantle. Oh, look at the chair. Look at that. So I guess he's closed. That's hilarious. He's closed, but I'm supposed to bring him his lunch. Um, dude. Oh, there he is. Hey, excuse me. He's another rat. Delivery. It's very soggy, but here's your lunch. My lunch! Honestly, I completely forgot I ordered this. Thanks for dropping it off. Since you're here and you seem like a hard worker, maybe I could get you to do something else for me? I've got this set of stairs in the back that have been on the fritz lately. Hoping maybe you could take a look at them. If you can get them working again, I'll make it worth your while. Let's just say I know a thing or two you might find useful. What do you say? Can't hurt to look. That's the spirit I knew you weren't the type to avoid getting your hands dirty. Let's just see what you can do about those stairs and let me know. Okay, so now it's sunny again. So I'm wondering if this is the stairs. Or do I have to get replace simple motor? So he needs a simple motor, but I don't have anything on me. Oh wow, this is respawn. That's funny. Oh, I got cloth too. Yes, I'm just taking all your stuff, dude. <laughs> it's a snack machine. A vending machine. A soda vending machine. Um, gather that. Um, you fix those pistons yet? All three of them? All three. What do you have for sale? He has 99 oil. Nope. Okay. So I guess I have to come back. And um, come back here and fix his pistons. Let's 
go back and see if we can't fix find pokey as you can see my energy is running out I hope I can still drive if I have no energy well oh, I'm getting cloth and everything from these things okay and we're gonna go back I have no idea if this is the right way to go back to Critter Cove apparently not Oh wow, that's really tiny. So here we are. And here Critter Cove is. Not that you could see. So there's that island where the fishing guy is. So Critter Cove must be right out, right out in this direction. Looks lovely with all the birdies doing all their little thingies. There we go. There's the lighthouse. Oh, drive. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. Oh, here they come. Oh, they can dive underwater. I'm not sure how seaworthy this is if the water is coming into the, the tub, but okay. Apparently you don't have to make a perfect parking. You can just, oh no, he wants us to replace something. I'm not even asking. Not at the moment, Anchor. Okay, I did Sammy's delivery. I still can't find Pokey. Is Pokey showing up on the map now? There's Sammy, still at the shop, which is good. Pokey's like nowhere to be found now. There's Copperbot. I guess we're going to have to just run around and look for her. Nope, nope, not talking to you, Mary. I need bricks and things for that. There's Pokey. Here's your salad, girl. So you stop by yet again to see what I've been up to. Well, if you must know, I found some of that junk you're always messing with. I have something for you. Here's your green salad. <gasps> hey, this is exactly what I asked for. And on time to boot, I guess you're pretty on the ball sometimes. She gave us 24. Yay, we completed something. So let me go back to Sammy and see if he needs me to talk. Welcome. Okay. Remove from the job. Nope, nope, okay. Goodbye. So we can't order anything from him, which is odd. But at least now we'll have... Yes. You're just in time to witness the grand opening of my freshly remodeled house. It's going to be so sweet. Not only will I no longer live on the beach with me and old crabs, but I can finally unpack all my stuff, too. And don't think I've forgotten you, my friend. I've got a little something that I hope shows how much I appreciate all the hard work you did for me. She's super cute. She gave me an industrial pillar. Three, two, one. Reveal. Maybe. Here we go. Cute. I like the little sunshade. Oh, I'm not at home right now. I can't go in and look. Well, that sucks. All right. So that's that's our first day or so in uh, Critter Cove. Uh, if you like this, let me know. And thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye now.